Hey, did you get my memo? Um, I don't think so. The only thing I've gotten was this picture of a monster. That's a picture of me crying, but yeah, that's it. Oh, okay, yeah. Did you see the other side? Yep, flip it. <laughs> yeah, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Oh, uh, but I did actually want to ask you about something. Yeah, what's up? You said in your reaction to the Remind trailer that you um, uh, fucking hate that Riku Nami shit? Yeah, I did say that. Well, and I just wanted to know because I... <laughs> I kind of told you that it was going to be canon, so I just don't know why you would say that. <clears throat> um, okay, well, um, first of all, I uh, played Kingdom Hearts 2, and I know a good end canon ship when I see one. Uh, secondly, uh, that would make Xion the girl that replaces other girls in all aspects, and that is not a good luck, honey. Uh, thirdly, uh, your reasoning behind the two of them being together, being because of the replicu, is kind of mm, gross. What? Gross? I don't know why you would ever think it is gross. <sighs> okay. So, Riku and the Repliku are two entirely separate people, and the feelings of one should have no impact whatsoever on the relationships of the other. And by saying that Riku and Namine should be together because of the Repliku is kind of ignoring the fact that Riku and Namine have their own relationship from their own time spent together during their year in Diz's care. Never mind the fact that the feelings that the Repliku had for Namine were fabricated feelings intentionally implanted into him by the organization in order to more easily control him. So who's to say if he were given the autonomous, natural option, he would actually develop feelings for Namine? I mean, yeah, okay, so the heart wants what the heart wants and sometimes you just can't change that. But don't you think with that kind of baggage, he wouldn't develop the same kinds of feelings for her instead of, oh, I don't know, maybe resenting the shit out of her? And uh, this is what I find the most glaringly disgusting part of this, is that you are, again, and at this point it seems intentionally ignoring the past experiences of your female characters for the sake of the development of your male characters. Okay, so just ignore whatever I just said about the Repliku's feelings, okay? Mm. So we got that the Repliku liked Nominee in Chain of Memories, right? But I think there's a very important half of the question that you aren't asking yourself. Okay, we got that the Repliku liked Nominee, but did Ames really matter. Do you want me to give the Repliku a real name? <sighs> Did Namine ever give any indication whatsoever that she liked the Repliku back? If I were to put myself in Namine's perspective to think about her past experiences, I don't think I would ever want to be reminded about what happened in Castle Oblivion. Least of all the creepy stalker man that tried to constantly hit on me while I was actively being abused. Anyway, have a good weekend.